Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for what is day 7 of the Lambing Vlogs. It's sure to be another busy one. We've got a couple of helpers this week which is quite exciting. So sit back and enjoy day 7 guys for what should be another hectic day in the Lambing Shed. If you do enjoy it, please tap that like button. You will see more stuff like this across the next couple of weeks. Subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoy. Cheers guys. Right guys, it is a warm one this morning. I've even had to take my hat off while well, Soph has, haven't you, Soph? <laughs> yeah. So here we have, guys, this is Soph, my girlfriend, and Nell, her cousin. So these two are my special helpers this week. Nell's here for some lambing experience, and Soph is too, aren't you, Soph? <laughs> she wants to become a full-time lambing here, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah, she just likes the bottle feeding, not the lambing part, is that right? <laughs> yeah. So now you're from up north, whereabouts up north are you? We're at Sheffield. Near Sheffield, so you want to be a vet in the future. Yeah. So you've come yeah. to learn how to lamb some sheep. Yeah. And the best way to do that is there is a U lambing in the top shed. So what we're going to do is head up there, check it out and see how they're getting on. Well, in fact, there are three lambing in this shed, so it's going to be a bit of a hectic one. So the first one we're going to have a go at looking at is this one. We've got one leg and a head out, so that might mean there's a leg back. Then we've got one over here where there's a water bag out there. And then there's a third one. Where is she? Sure, there might be that one. Here she is. Then we've got this shoe here that's got its bag out too. So let's get them all sorted. Right, so this is the first lamb that Nell will ever lamb. So what I'm going to do is just present it so she gets the feel to what it's going to be like. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll land you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, Mum. Right now, if you go there, and what you want to try and do is get the two and you see fingers like that, try and get one of the legs in between each finger. If you can't, just pull one leg at a time, a bit at a time. So it's quite tough, so you pull that, and then you pull the other one too, the bottom one. It's quite slimy, that's it, that's it, that's it, keep pulling, that's it. Now you can pop that lamb round to the front so she can lick it. There you go, good girl. Then you just make sure its um, airways are all clear, so you just do what you're doing. She's like a professional and the <laughs> And a really good sign is that it's shook its head, so that normally means it's the goer. <laughs> good girl. I think you need to away. Right. She's quite far off that upper one, so we'll leave her and come back to her in a minute. So if we leave her to lick that lap, She's quite far off lambing that other one, so we'll give her a few minutes and if she needs assistance, we'll help her then. So this is the second one, I've just got it down. Its head and legs are coming out, but it looks like, yeah, it's a really big, this is huge. <laughs> They're probably when they get big. <laughs> See how big that foot is? Feed you a bloody hell. Yeah, the big one. And what I'll do now is feel the other one. That's the biggest slam we've had this year so far. So if Nell works on that, I'll feel the other one and get it ready so she can have a go. Oh, I can feel two legs in the head. So if you try and get, you can even try and do both legs or one leg at a time. Just keep pulling them slowly. Until they'll like pop out. That's it. So I need to the head as well. The head will usually follow. So that's it. There's a head there. Keep pulling. If you try and pull down, it's a bit easier. That's it. Well done. That's it. Take it round. Like you swing that lamb round. She got two very nice lambs, haven't you, girly? Dream work. <laughs> They're not yours, buddy. <laughs> So, 
So this is a prime example of Miss Mothering. This shoe is actually lambing and not lambed yet, where she is lambed, so she'll be that hormonal that she'll pretty much take anything at the moment. Sheep, sheep! Go on, go. Go, go. Right, on to the third one. Afterwards. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. <laughs> You've got a big lamb in a small space, lady. Ooh, poor girly. Right, good girl, good girl. Good girl. Oh, it's out, it's out, darling. You got it. It's Tom Girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> right, guys, so that is that top shed all sorted, but down here we now have. Three ewes, seven lambs, a bit of a mystery. Well, this one hasn't actually lambed yet. This one is the quad, so she's got four, so all the little four, I'm assuming, are hers. And then we have a normal trip up there. So what we're gonna do, pen the quad up out of the way because we've got all the pens full. And we're gonna clear all the pens and get all these put in them. That's the plan. Nell's got the two littlest ones. And I think what we're gonna have to do is stomach tube and just to make sure they've got a nice full stomach of milk. So that is them all split up. We've got the three in here which are quite a lot bigger than the quads. So the plan now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stomach tube all these quads to make sure they get some nice warm colostrum in the bellies because by the looks of it a couple of them are empty and rather than have it than not. So what we've done we milk the ewe out we've got quite a lot of milk out of her and we're gonna give these 60 ml each and I'm gonna teach Nil how you stomach tube <laughs> that is them all tubes as you can see they've all perked up a lot and that is the difference colostrum can make to a little lamb so hopefully these now get feeding off of her we'll probably have to tube them again or bottle feed them again. But then we've got the triplets and the one keeps escaping so we're just going to pop another hurdle there. We'll keep an eye on these. They may need tubing too. We'll just see how they get on. So we'll leave them to it. We'll come back and check them out in a little bit. Right guys, sorry I left you all a little bit there because it has been absolute madness. So we have had approximately a million sheep lamb. We have had to make some Pens in emergency circumstances down there whilst we clear out the bottom shed because we're moving loads of sheep around down there. So we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ewes lamb in the last few hours. We're doing a little bit of a move around, so we'll head down there, check them out, and see how Soph and Nell are getting on. All right, team, how are we getting on? You finished? Oh, you're moving straw. No, we need some more. Oh, you need, oh, I'll get you a bail. <laughs> no worries. So I'll get you a bail. They're looking very good, aren't they? You smashed it. Yeah. So this is what they've been doing, guys. All the ewes that are in these pens, all been mucked out so they're all clean, all lined up. And then more of the ewes are in the crashy area over there, chilling. So we need to get more of these cleared though today because loads are lambing. It is absolute chaos in here. There's too many sheep. Not enough pens, everyone is flat out. Sophie's currently on bottling duty, aren't you, Sophie? Yeah, my favourite so, duty. So this one will be topped up. <laughs> Nell is doing all the navels because we've had a million lambs born this morning. Oh, you're covered in eye, do you? Uh, do you want some gloves? No. No, okay. <laughs> and then Ellie up here, as she is sorting all the haylage out, aren't you, Al? Are you on topping up? So what we'll do now is get all these tagged and tailed, the rest of them, get them moved to, ready for some fresh pens once again. Righto, so as we are lacking space, we are having a quick fire move round. We've split the top shed with the twins in as like half of them are now lambed. And we are pushing the singles up to them to make more space in where the singles are for the mothering up area because we've got tons that are ready to move. So we'll get them up. Come on, come on, come on. That one is zero, one oh three, six three five, 
So guys, what we're doing here is basically recording the mothers and the lambs. So Sophie's doing all the writing here. So she's just writing exactly all the mums, all the lamb numbers, if it's male or female, live, dead, if it's tailed and then castrated. When we get back in the house, we'll do the sire because I've got records of all the sires. And that's basically it, guys. So this allows me to record all the performance against the U later in the year so we know exactly how that used lambs have recorded because we've got all the breeding. Right guys, so that is the big move round all done. We've got like 20 odd use now in the crash to free up some pens. So me and Ellie are just mucking out eight of the pens to get some free for tonight because I'm sure they will get used up in no time. It has been a hectic and mad day of lambing. I feel we must have had 30 use lamb. Maybe 25, 25 lamb. But it's been absolutely hectic. I'm sorry if the videos missed a little bit out today. It's just been that mad that I've just tried to record what I've had time to do. Everyone that's helped me today, Ellie, Nell and Soph, they've all been absolute stars. And if I didn't have them with me today, I would not have coped. At some point, I was getting stressed out when there's five years lambing at once. And I was getting confused which lambs were off both. But by having them all there, they've got me through it. So big thank you to them. Now, me and Ellie are going to finish mucking these pens out. We're getting bedded up. Get any use that aren't in pens in pens, and I'll catch you up to talk you through the day after that. Well, guys, massive thank you for watching today. I know it has been a hectic one, so I forgot to film an outro, so I'm doing it in the morning after. It's been such a good video. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was a bit bits and pieces because it was so busy, but if you did enjoy it, please tap that like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you tomorrow guys. Thank you. Cheers.